One of the fun things about my channel, I always like to be very honest <laughs> and admit to when I make stupid mistakes. <gasps> oh no. <laughs> mm, that was not a good idea. <laughs> Hi folks, and welcome back to The Plot. People say that winter is often a time in the garden for kind of pausing and relaxing and slowing down. <laughs> that couldn't be further from the truth for me. I have been busy, busy, busy since you last saw me. Today, I'm so excited. There's a lot of energy in the air today because I'm hoping to get this greenhouse not finished. I'm not gonna finish it because I haven't got all the glass, but as close to finished as I possibly can get it. Basically, I want the frame to be properly assembled, all square and nice and lovely. And that's what we're gonna be doing today, but... <laughs> I'm going to be laughing thinking about this one. There's a few things to catch you up on. Uh, like I say, I have been very busy. And the first, we're just going to go right back to a couple of days ago. Hi, folks. <laughs> it's four o'clock in the morning. And we've had a massive storm blow through. Our fences in the garden have just come down. So that's been very dramatic. That's what woke us up. And I've just realised that the greenhouse um, is is not very secure at the moment, so <laughs> bombing down to the allotment at four o'clock in the morning. Well, folks, it's mostly good news. <laughs> you can hear how windy it is, I'm sure. We've just got the one casualty, and that is the chair. <laughs> the frame is still standing, but it is quite warped. It's been picked up a little bit, and it's no longer square. <sighs> well, we got off quite lightly, folks. But it's all safe, I've got it secure, I've got a load of compost bags on it that shouldn't be going anywhere. <laughs> Allotments make you do funny things sometimes. <laughs> yes, that is what I would call not very fun. <laughs> and you can see down here I've got lots of bags of compost and that's the next thing to talk about because I have also been busy sorting out a massive delivery of I'm going to call it compost because it is sold as compost, but it is just manure, basically. And this came recommended by a little channel on YouTube you might have heard of. <laughs> this is from a recommendation from Jessie at Plot34. She swears by this stuff. It was a bargain and I have so, so much of it. I've opened it up. I've had a look. Really nice. I was a little bit worried because when it first arrived, it was quite smelly. Um, but I think there might just be one or two bags or there was a bit of kind of muck on the machinery or the delivery truck or something like that because it is really nice well composted stuff i have bought a lot of that stuff uh, for two kind of reasons one it <laughs> had to get a bulk delivery uh, you know to kind of qualify otherwise they wouldn't deliver it um, and two it's going to be enough for not only the beds here at the allotment possibly enough for the second plot as well and as well lots left over for the back garden as well because we've got some plans for the back garden this year i've just brought onto the allotment today a few more pallets um, and these are basically going to be perfect for the compost renovations that I've been talking about recently so I'm really excited about that and let me spin you around because one other little thing I've done is finally cleared out the greenhouse and the reason I did this just the other day instead of working on the the new greenhouse frame is because I've got onions that are ready to probably come out here now they really need pricking on I'm gonna prick them on leave them indoors for a few days just to kind of get them used to it with the nice warm soil and then bring them in here. The temperatures are due to drop very, very soon. But at the moment, it is lovely and toasty in here. The only thing I haven't done is empty these because I'm lazy. These are the quad grow pots, but that's that. I'm gonna try not to procrastinate any longer. And we are gonna start on the greenhouse. The first thing I'm gonna have to do, which is always very frustrating, and I've had to do this a few times, is take the base and move it off so I can get to the base and start working on it. I'm so, so, so excited. I say that this was unscathed. It's mostly unscathed, but um, <laughs> I did lose one or two rafters, uh, not the end of the world. And the whole thing did become, it's become very shaky. It's not completely screwed in. I haven't got every kind of supporting bolt in here. So I did get quite lucky with this storm, I think. And I've mentioned before recently, the plan for today is gonna be partially glazing this. I'm gonna try and get as much glass in as I can to allow me to get a full record of all the glass that is missing that I need to put an order in for. Mm. 
I've only just thought as well, this is the first time I'm going to need to move it properly, properly out of the way. Normally, I just kind of shunt it over there and can access everything I need. But I think this time I want it fully out of the way. There may well be an elegant way to do this, but if there is, I haven't figured out how. <laughs> You're in the way. How rude of you. This is so ridiculous. Well. <laughs> Nearly off. Good thing these field beans are only green manure. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Perfectly fine. Perfectly safe. Oh, I've accidentally taken out some of my strawberries. Very good. Let's just get this on level ground. Oh, perfect. Like a glove. <laughs> we'll leave it there for now and hope it doesn't, uh, it doesn't break or anything. Here it is, the blank canvas. This is just so, so exciting. And it's quite good that we've had all these stormy weather, lots of rain. I wanted to wait a little while to see whether or not this kind of brick base was going to weather in nicely. And it looks like it has, there's maybe a little bit around here that just needs a bit of a tweak. But one other thing I wanted to show you, I had lots and lots of really good suggestions about how to kind of secure these sleepers into the ground. I did for a little while think about using some angle iron. I do have some lying around on the plot, but I don't have an angle grinder or any way to kind of cut them down to a reasonable length. They're like eight foot long or something like that. Um, and these look like a pretty good solution. They're not amazing. They're quite long. I think they're 40 centimeters. And I think for our purposes, this is going to be just enough to kind of make sure that basically the sleepers weigh the whole thing down and don't get lifted up by the wind. The greenhouse behind me is just sat on sleepers and it's just screwed into those sleepers. The sleepers aren't really even that well secured into each other, so I think this is going to be more than adequate. Hopefully I can put all these sleepers together and they're going to all be perfectly level and fit just right kind of in the middle of this brick base. And unfortunately, not quite. And I really do want this to be perfect. So I'll show you where it's not quite level and then we'll try and fix it. Now it's funny, and I don't know if you'll be able to see this on camera, but to the naked eye, that corner over there looks so high. It looks so, so high and so proud. But when I put the spirit level on, that corner on my right over here is actually low. I don't think I'm too concerned about having that slight, slight depression on the side. I think that's fine. But the issue is that when you look at the corners, oh, that's when you see the real kind of issue. It's only minor, it's, you know, fixable. But here, this is the side that if anything, we just want to go lower. And you can see the long beam here is proud. So that beam needs to come down. This beam needs to come down. And when you look at the other side, it's a similar story. You see, this is proud and we really don't want that one to go any lower. We want it to come up a little bit, which means this entire beam, this long sleeper, is all just a little bit low. And that's probably sunk over time. And realistically, I could just put the frame on here but I don't want to. I want to get this perfectly right. I don't want the frame to be under too much pressure or anything like that. So what we're going to have to do is quite a bit of work raising this side, especially, and then lowering. We might not need to lower it properly, but definitely doing something on this side. You can see it matches perfectly in this corner. And this corner just needs raising up on the long side ever so slightly. And the other thing to check is the profile of these long sided ones. We want this to have a nice slope to the back for the gutter to make sure the rainwater runs off. I did think a little bit about where I was going to put the water, but you can see that one's at the front. <laughs> it would make sense to maybe have one at the front, but also it wouldn't actually fit. So I'm going to have the water butts at the back where they're kind of, they're a lot more out of the way. I just think it makes more sense and a job at some point is to fix all of this because you can see it is not very happy and i think when i do that i will uh, use the sleepers that i can 
and flip them and I'll reprofile it as well. So that one does lean to the back as well. So really nothing too major. I just need to get in and give these a few tweaks. You can see, I've mentioned this in a recent video, but the plan has been to get the sleeper kind of as supported by the base as possible. But there's always going to be some bricks that don't quite meet. But you can see there's a gap kind of at the end there between the bricks and the sleeper. And it's just a little bit proud over here. So hopefully we can just push those down a little bit. And that might just solve all the problems. Should be nice and easy to just collect a few of these and top it off with the kind of, I've got really heavy clay soil, so it does form a sort of, you know, kind of cemented hard layer um, that does seem to be holding the bricks in really nicely. This whole time, the base building process has been fairly trial and error. Lots of literally taking a brick up, putting stuff under it, putting the brick back on top, pushing it down a bit, and then looking at the level to see whether or not it's too high, too low. And then you rinse and repeat <laughs> many times. Um, once you get into the swing of it, it's not too bad. Let's get this back on, see if it's any better. It's not. <laughs> like I say, this is just trial and error. I've done this over the course of constructing the base, probably hundreds of times, moving these sleepers on and off. Finding where it's proud, this one, and a little bit of removal, and we rinse and repeat until it's good. All right, so I'm gonna get busy with this. Fast forward a little bit and see you, hopefully, when all of this is nice and square. Wish me luck. We've corrected this, it's meeting perfectly down here, almost perfectly at the front. Not quite, but pretty much as good as. But this next one, this, this isn't fun, actually. Um, I've had a look along here, and along its course, the sleeper is sat on almost every one of these bricks, <laughs> which just means every one of the bricks needs to rise up, which is going to be quite a lot of work, but no point talking about it. Just get... Well, folks, I think, I think it might be okay and I've got to the point now where I get really nervous because I have to do something that feels quite permanent. I think the next step is screwing all of these sleepers together <laughs> and it feels like once I do that there's no going back. Um, I think the plan is screw them together and then put them... <sighs> I'm not 100% sure what is the best way to do this. I think maybe put the frame on and then screw them together. Oh, I'm not sure. I think first, I'll measure it and make sure it's squared on the diagonals. Let's do that, let's do that. That is exactly 295. This one is 296. So it's just a tiny bit out, but I think that's because my cut isn't actually that level there. I think that's fine. I think one centimeter over such a distance is probably fine, isn't it? Probably fine. What could go wrong? <laughs> Should I screw them together? <laughs> really nervous. Right, we're ready. I think, I think I'm ready. I got these absolutely massive screws. I did have some timber locks with like a hex head. These are a torque screw and these were just very kindly actually given to me by an allotment neighbor. <laughs> so nervous. One of the fun things about my channel, I always like to be very honest and admit to when I make stupid mistakes. And this is why I get nervous about stuff. Turns out these screws are my drill, which is like uh, one of those medium sized ones, you know, it's not like a full on impact driver, but it's always served me really well. This has done everything I've ever asked of it <laughs> until now. Uh, it just does not have enough power to drive one of these screws through timbers. I thought it'd be okay because it's softwood, but uh, apparently not. And, <laughs> uh, you know, it's in now. I can't get it out. <laughs> so, uh, we've got a bit of a problem. I'm just gonna have to probably come back with a more powerful drill. <sighs> it's never easy, is it? 
Ah, dear me. So, a little bit of time and not too much to spare later. I thought, instead of the screws that my neighbour just gave me, maybe I should just use the timber drives, the timber locks I bought in the first place. And I was looking at them and I thought, ah, there's only actually a small bit <laughs> that has a thread. So maybe that will go through. And if you look down here, this one did go straight through and connected these pieces. So, um, <laughs> I'm not too sure what to do about the one that's uh, now screwed with a massive gap, but at least I have a way forward. <laughs> Oh dear. So back over to this side and I messaged my good friend Steve from Greenside Up and he said, hit it with a hammer. <laughs> a sledgehammer will fix that. Um, I don't have a sledgehammer. I have a little <laughs> hammer thing. Uh, let's hit it and see what happens. What could go wrong, eh? <gasps> oh no. <laughs> Mmm, that's not a good idea. <laughs> Let me pick you up. <laughs> See, what that has done, this is amazing. This is just perfect. What that has done is just broken the head. So I don't think the head is any... <laughs> is even connected to the screw anymore. We're having such a good time. I really don't know what to do. <laughs> you know, when all else fails, hit it with a hammer, eh? <laughs> Oh, it worked. Oh my God, it actually worked. <laughs> oh, we're back in business. Look at this. Like a glove. Good as new, perfect, brilliant. Well done, 10 out of 10. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go back to the timber locks. <laughs> oh, dearie me. That's a good noise. That's when you know it's working. <sighs> perfect. Sort of. <laughs> this part is definitely interesting. Like, as you start to bolt it all together, you can really see if there's any bits that are low or high. I can see one or two gaps here and there in the bricks. But generally, I think we've gone okay. This one just wants to come in. I'm gonna screw this in, but, oh, there we go. Perfect. It's very satisfying when they come together when you feel the force of it actually pulling the wood together. I like that bit. So I'm pretty happy with that, but now is the moment of truth where we put the frame on and my allotment neighbor has offered to come and help me, which is very kind. And I really, really hope this all lines up. It should with a bit of just go on the outside. Perfect. Yes. We did it, it's on. It's almost perfect. It's not, it's not completely right. There's a bit at the back that I, I did get wrong when I was first measuring. I didn't account for the lip, but around the rest, the greenhouse frame lips perfectly over the timber base, which I'm just really, really happy about. And I just, <laughs> I can't stop smiling. This is gonna be one of those where I just need to take a minute and take it in because it's finally on. There's so much more work to do, but all I've got to do now, once it's glazed, I, I don't really want to screw it into the frame until it's glazed, uh, just in case, just in case. I think it's better to glaze a bit first, make sure it's all fine, and then screw it down. But, uh, oh, wow. Wow, I'm so, so happy. I can't, it's finally happening. This is finally, finally happening. What I am going to do is go round and make sure all the bolts, nuts and bolts are tight now because there's lots missing. Um, and uh, I, I, I'm too, too excited to talk. I can't even, I can't even take it. What I'm going to do is systematically go around the inside of the greenhouse, tightening everything up now. And it's always good to start in one corner, work your way clockwise, anti-clockwise, whatever, just make sure it's consistent and just look at every single one, make sure it's tight. It will never not shock me how long it can take to just get one of <laughs> these single nuts and bolts into a greenhouse. But we're getting there, we are getting there. Ah, oh, wow, folks. I cannot believe I forgot how much I hate dealing with greenhouse nuts and bolts. Um, I'll flash up how long it's taken me just to do the front panel. These ones in the top here are really loose and they're not the self kind of contained ones. You know, there's nothing holding them the other side. 
So you need to have a tool on the inside, on the outside. A few of them are just fused, so they will not come off. Uh, I could moan for a really long time. Um, but this step is really important because it is what is key to the rigidity of the greenhouse. You can see the top is still quite a lot of movement there. So I'm going to carry on. I don't think I'm going to get this glazed today. Maybe a little bit ambitious. I'll be back with you, hopefully a bit more positively, when I've gone around the whole greenhouse and made sure it's all tight. <laughs> oh, wow. As if by some cruel twist of fate, would you believe it? The very last bolt is another one that just makes me want to give up. <laughs> This is one that is just completely fused and I cannot do anything with. It's this, this one right here. <sighs> and when this happens, it's time to get the hacksaw out and it's just always so awkward. There's always basically no space to do it in. <sighs> I don't know if it's all old greenhouses or if I've just been particularly unlucky with the two that I picked up. <sighs> One positive thing you might have noticed while I'm doing this is the greenhouse is shaking a lot less. It's pretty stable now, which is good considering there's two missing rafters still and a window. Come on! Look at that, half a nut. It's still stuck. Ah! Oh. Yes! It's time for me to take a deep breath and try not to get stressed out. Just found a few bits on the floor like this one that I thought were for the window, and like this one, which is not for the window. This is a support for the front of the greenhouse that plugs in there. And there's only one of these, so I'm missing one. So a little bit of a hunt. It's fine, it's all fine, it's fine. We're having a great time. It's all fine. Okay, well, never mind. can't find it. Not the end of the world, is it? Oh, it's just so awkward, isn't it? Every single one of these. Oh, you can never get it, you can never get the tool on where it's meant to be because there's always something else in the way. Oh, there we go. Oh, God. Got to that stage in the day, that kind of Tony C. Smith stage. All my patience has gone, I'm hungry. I didn't even bring a drink today. I don't mean like a cup of tea, I mean like water. Um, so I've really just been powering through. I've been here since about half 10. It's coming up to four o'clock. I've had some lunch, but. I'm fed up, I'm really, I'm really done. I just feel like I have to at least get all this stuff together because I haven't even glazed it today, which was the real objective. Oh, I've just picked up a new screw and the old bolt. I meant to pick up a new bolt, a new nut. I can't even talk anymore, my brain is scrambled. That'll do, that'll do. <laughs> Whatever, that'll do. <laughs> I feel like I'm actually gonna go mad. I cannot believe this, so I'm just putting in this little bracer here, this rafter. Gone to screw it in, and what's up here? <laughs> I've got a bolt and a nut that will just spin eternally, not getting any tighter, not getting any looser. <laughs> okay, so a little bit of time later, there's good news and bad news. Good news is the window is in. Uh, I didn't manage to get out <laughs> the, the bolt at the top that is, it will just spin forever. Bad news is, look what I found. Look what I forgot about. <laughs> oh, I feel like I'm going, becoming somewhat hysterical. Um, it really has been quite a long day um, and there's just a couple more bits I need to do. And then I think I will try and have a nice little positive five minutes and look at everything I've done today. The thing I need to do is basically just a couple of screws in here and there to just secure this frame in place so that it's not going to blow away. That should be simple, shouldn't it? What could go wrong? Gone around, just made sure everything is square. Little pilot hole. And then for these, do have quite a nice long screw. Just Phillips head, shouldn't be any issue. And as well, I actually have some washers, which will just go around here quite nicely and kind of distribute the pressure. And it might make it a little bit more watertight as well, so water doesn't seep through there. But I'm just gonna do this in kind of maybe two places because well, just in case we need to make any changes later. <laughs> it's really good when you finally sit down and just think, yes, that's me, done. And I am definitely, 
Done. I, it, what, what a busy day. Um, it's a shame that I didn't get around to glazing, but in the grand scheme of things, not the end of the world. I am over the moon. I am actually ecstatic. Um, I am so, so happy to have this thing finally up. It's pretty solid. Um, <sighs> I'm just lost for words, really. I am utterly, utterly exhausted. Thank you ever so much for joining me. I normally ask you to leave something in the comments, but I can't even think of anything. So please just comment with some support. <laughs> Tell me I've done a good job. <laughs> uh, don't whatever you do, don't whatever you do, comment telling me I've done something wrong. <laughs> even if I have, I don't want to know. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> uh, maybe later, maybe, maybe when I've had a chance to, uh, to go and have a cup of tea. I am absolutely gasping. Thank you ever so much for joining me and hopefully I'll see you again next time. I wonder how long this episode was. I bet it's long. Oh dear me. Oh, there's so much to pack up. <laughs>